All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. It's cold. This is the best damn beer ever made. Innocent Gun has my name on it. You know it's high quality. Uh, I didn't have this on my bingo card for the day. I, I kind of didn't even really have much interest in making videos like this at all anymore. But I, I had something come up recently. Sometimes I'm bopping around in the world and... Uh, I see things come up and I'm like, eh, maybe I should do a video on it. And for the past year or so, I've been mostly disregarding that because I don't like to do the same content again and again and again. But I felt like I should address this. Um, so you can see on the screen here, you know, uh, I don't know who needs to hear this. It's 2023. Stop buying trash GT45s. And that's a joke, you know, haha, -ha, funny, whatever. Um, I'm never going to stop recommending people buy a GT45 until a better, cheaper turbo than a GT45 comes out. And there are many, many factors that go into how you decide what turbo you want to buy. But the easiest way to do this is if you know that a thing works, just use it. Like, if you're actually trying to race in a class for like turbo if, if you're trying to put this on an ls or, or 302 or 351 or a 360 or a hemi any of the normal v8 american engines if you were to go rate i'm covered in cat hair for some reason um if you were to go race in a class you would absolutely get destroyed period with a gt45 with a billet gen mc vxii w uh, VS Racing 7875, you wouldn't win, right? So that's, people often go into things, what's the best? Everybody wants to know what's the best. What What's the best beer? What's the best peanut butter and jelly? What's the best whatever? And that is a stupid fucking question. They say there's no such things as stupid questions. There are. Uh, and there are stupid fucking answers too. So you have to provide a lot more information. But at the end of the day, if you're just a guy who wants to make turbo noises like I do in Daryl, just follow the path that others have set for you. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and you're not likely to. You can put an HX35 on your LS. You can put a Power Stroke Garrett Turbo on your LS and it will make boost and it's not like it's gonna blow up or blow up the engine or whatever. It just might make a shitty amount. Um, so, you know, is the GT45 the best turbo? No. Is it the best turbo for the dollar? In my opinion, it is. If you need a T4 flange turbo for a V8, this is Richard Holdner's uh, video. It's interesting to me that people will watch a Holdner video and they will go in here and they'll be like, hmm, well, that's an interesting true point. It's 30 horsepower. Uh, it's 30. I'm just going to cut to the chase. It's fucking 30 horsepower difference between a 78, 75 and a GT45. So that may be worth it to you. I don't know. It's not worth it to me. I don't give a shit. I have a turbo right now. I didn't need another $100. Um, my, my truck makes turbo boost and turbo noises and it goes choo, 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 and it blows fireballs out of a fender and I'm fucking happy and I'm not letting my shit sit while I wait to have a little bit more money for a GT40 or a 7875 and these people here telling you to you know they're going to tell you to buy a VS Racing 7875 anyway well it's more better it's more better it's more it's all more better than the other fucking thing and they don't stop to quantify how much at what cost um, the one time that I would buy a 7875 over a GT45 was if I was putting it in a car like an F body it's a smaller physically takes up less space um, then I would just spend the extra you know 75 80 bucks but for 30 horsepower like I don't fucking care I for a hundred and seventy five dollars ish hundred and seventy seven dollars and you need a flange um, so we'll call it 200 bucks. You can have boost right now. Plop it on your T4 long manifold from, you know, uh, 
I forget who made them. Somebody made LS log manifolds like Dirty Dingo or somebody really cheap recently. Or they started importing them really cheap. Uh, oh, right. I put it in airplane mode so my messages wouldn't pop up. Anyway, uh, this is a GT45 on my truck. There's plenty of space to the hood. There's plenty of space all around it. Daryl is a C10. Um, I didn't really care. It's got a three inch out pipe, down pipe, whatever. I'm actually not going to leave this. Uh, I'm just going to put a normal down pipe on it eventually. But again, right now, like I'm moving about right now. I don't need to leave it on jack stands. And if I want to, and I do want to, I'll tell you that, I do want to eventually make more power than what this GT45 will make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip right ahead. I'm going to jump right over to the 7875, and I'm going to go to an S475 or an S480 and a T4 flange, depending on what I find used. That's why I have 100-pound injectors. I did that while I was at it because that's an expense I only want to make once. But this GT45, I will sell for like 150 bucks. And have basically a free turbo. Um, you have to make your own decisions, but you should make informed ones. And you should really critically think about, you know, how much am I spending here and what am I gaining? I'll link this uh, Richard Holdner's video here. It's a couple years old. He went up against a bunch of different turbos. In my opinion, and, and, and as is the case in most Holdner videos, I just look at it a little differently than everybody else. People will be like, oh, but this can be this much more power down low. And, and they'll get all fucking, they'll turn into rocket scientists and shit. They're like, well, I bet that would react real good on the street and my truck is heavy because I told so. And I'm just like, which one fucking costs more? Because I can't tell the difference between that. Um, so, I'm never going to stop buying GT45s as an entry-level turbo to get into having turbos. And I'm never going to recommend to you guys to stop buying GT45s until the next cheaper thing. They come out with a GT48 for $135, I might recommend it. But I don't see the point in spending more money to get marginally better results when either one is more than enough to blow the tires off your truck from a 50-mile-an-hour roll in the street. So, and, and if you're really trying to play, you don't need either turbo anyway. If you're really trying to make big, big power, Daryl will make 550, 600 tire with a GT45. If you're trying to make 8, 900 tire, neither one of them are going to get you there. So, it's fucking moot either way. Um, know, that's it. That's the whole video. I'll have a link to this down below. And, uh, you know, we'll let the Facebook comments roll on uh thanks for watching we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer enjoy if you best beer i'm gonna i'm gonna plug this best beer this shit is 18 dollars for a six pack so is it really the best beer i don't know but it's got my name on it so i'll pay for that thanks guys we'll see you next time